Now we're gonna stop. Ah! Are you so I'm excited? I'm so excited. This is an episode of I've Moved to LA, Now What? And I don't know if this is gonna be the first episode that I put out, but it might be. This is Julia Brecca. Hello. This is a wonderful, wonderful girl, but she lives here in LA and she works in the industry, in the entertainment industry. Um, she first started working at Paramount and now she's at BAFTA. And if you don't know what BAFTA is, BAFTA is like the British version of like the Academy here. Yeah, right? so it's the British Film Academy. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. The British Film the Academy. British Film Academy. And if you don't know, like you don't have any like reference points of what BAFTA is, recently Joaquin Phoenix had a speech at BAFTA that got a lot of buzz about being accountable for diversity because BAFTA didn't have a bunch of diverse nominees, yada, yada, yada. So mm -hmm. that, if you can connect the dots, that's where he was. He was accepting a BAFTA award. So that being said, um, I just want to start this series off or start this podcast off with knowing why young people are moving to LA and why they think that they can make it in LA or why they think that they can break into the entertainment industry and what actually happens once they move and once they try to break into the mm -hmm. entertainment industry. So when did you know that you wanted to move to LA? <sighs> Well, I, so I grew up in San Diego and I went to school in San Francisco and I always hated LA. I hated oh. it. Whenever I would come here, you know, on vacation with my family, I just was so like, I just, it just didn't seem like it was for me. So congested. Um, but also from a young age, I wanted to be an actress. Mm -hmm. So, you know, knowing that the industry is in LA, I kind of had a sense you know, in the back of my head throughout high school and throughout college that I might end up in LA. Um, so after I graduated from college, I was sort of floating a bit, living at home. And then I thought, you know what, like I have to do what I have to do mm -hmm. and I have to do what I want to do. And what I want to do is be in the entertainment industry and, you know, eventually be an actress. So I, that's sort of, you know, it was like six months after I graduated college. Okay. So six months yeah. after you graduated college, you realized, mm -hmm. I still have this acting bug. I want to move and I want to start pursuing this. Mm -hmm. um, what made you decide to go to college for film? Because I know that you went to school for film originally. Mm -hmm. So was that kind of along the lines of like, I want to be an actor, but I also mm -hmm. want to learn the industry? Like, why did you pick that yeah. major? Well, so when I, when I first started college I was an international studies major so I was okay. like, thinking about politics I was really focused on like social justice stuff like that um, oh wow yeah, really cool oh, but, I wasn't, <laughs> oh, wow. but I wasn't like I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do but I kind of pushed aside the acting thing thinking mm -hmm. it might not be realistic um so yeah, and then my, I think it was my sophomore year of college, a bunch of my friends were media studies film majors. Okay. So I switched, and I I got onto the comedy improv team, and it was just a blast, and I just was loving it. And I also, college is fun and great, so mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. having a great time. Uh -huh. um, and then I started with audio production for the first two years... Um, and I was like the product, the podcast coordinator at USF. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay. I like, that was my thing. And I really liked doing it. And I liked interviewing people and um, getting to know people's stories. Um, but I, even in, in doing that and in, you know, in film classes, which I love, you know, creating films and writing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. there was this thing like in the back of my head that was like, you should really try, like, you should really be acting mm -hmm. that's so know. while you're doing this you're doing things in the industry quote unquote or things that would lead to being in the industry yeah. but you're not taking the leap um in the sense of like doing what you really want to do what was it exactly that was stopping you from acting <sighs> i mean i think just like regular doubts like you're not good enough mm -hmm. you know that like self-talk that like you're not you're never gonna be good enough you're not a lot of it was like you're not 
like drop dead gorgeous like mm-hmm. like certain actresses right like most actresses mm-hmm. um and I just which is changing there are a lot of ugly people on tv like very true <laughs> <laughs> like, there are like I'm not gonna lie yeah, yeah. like some people I'm like okay you're playing a very regular person totally. because you look very regular which is super encouraging when there's people that look like a normal person on camera right and, and they're getting you know coverage or mm-hmm. you know, they're gaining popularity um but I don't know I just I think since I wasn't like like full-fledged in acting since I was like a kid mm-hmm. I just felt like I could never I, I don't know I had such hesitation and then I also like did want to see my future with some stability and like mm-hmm. acting scared me when it came to that right right so um yeah and I'm still I still am tiptoeing around it like or I guess the better way of saying it is like I'm walking around the perimeter of acting by mm-hmm. doing everything but 